Right, so as you probably know, these are my pea puffer fish. And I've got, I think, 10 to 12 of them in this, in this little tank. And it's a nice little family group of them. That's what I say, that there's just a little group of them. There's one particularly tiny one, which is this one. I call him Tiny. And uh, then there's a one extremely large one, which is at the back there. I don't know if you can see. There's one fairly big one there, but there's an even bigger one. Let's get back. Where is it? I've just seen it. One here that's just come forward. Anyway, they're called pea puffers because they don't really grow any bigger than the size of a pea. And uh, there's there's a big one right at the back there. Anyway, um, they all live in this little tank. It's a 30 litre cubic tank. Um, it has got a heater in it, and the temperature is around 80 or 90. It's uh, at about 32 now it does drop down in the evening to about 29 or 84 anyway um, and I do feed them um, brine shrimp so there's a bubbling thing there of brine shrimp there's adults and I've got youngsters coming through as well they also get blood worms but first thing in the morning they get a load of blood worm and today I've now bought them up some or brought them down some Mosquito larvae, so these ones, as you can see, that are on the surface are near pupating because you can see the, the change in them, they're kind of around the little um, antennae sticking out, so it's not going to be long before they change into uh, mosquitoes themselves. And then you can see some tiny little wriggly wigglers, which are the baby ones of the mosquito, and then there's a few that are bigger baby mosquito, like that one there on the bottom, I don't know if I Anyway, I'm going to feed some of these to my pea puffers, so I'm hoping that they'll enjoy them. So here we go. I'm just literally going to, oh, hopefully I'm going to try and just tip them in. Like this. Pull them in. There's a bit of uh, duckweed in there as well, but I'm not worried about it because there's already duckweed in this tank. So there we go. There's a few poured in and hopefully the pea puffers will find them and gobble them up. There we go. I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see them all swimming about. I don't know who's going to get one first. I can't actually see. Um, let's just wipe, wipe the side down. Get rid of that uh, water running down. And this one seems to be chasing something. And I'm quite sure that they'll be lots by the surface. Yeah, they're going for them on the surface. Yeah, there's a wiggly one, look. That one got it. Munching on it, look. Now with the mosquitoes, the mosquito larvae, they swim to the surface and then they stick their bum out the water to collect air and uh, then they can kind of breathe through a little tube and um, that's what keeps them alive under the water that's one there, isn't it? Just see. but yeah there's uh, quite a few i might pour a few more in but the thing is that um, some of them are nearly ready to pupate and they'll emerge as mosquitoes in the next few days so i'd rather just oh, there are some in there, so i'd rather just feed them to the pea puffers and see the pea puffers actually eating the mosquito larvae. Now these are pea puffers and they're mostly from India and around India uh, and they're a freshwater puffer fish. I've also got an Amazon puffer who lives in my main tank called Zumi and it's the only one that I've got um, whereas these ones are a little group of them and they, they, these as pea puffers they actually live better as a group than they do when they're on their own. I'm going to pour all of them in, hang on a minute. Okay so I've just poured all of them in and you can see some down here and they're spinning about. The pea puffers are looking at them. You can see them, but some of them are going to be a bit quick for them, I should think. But I'm sure they'll catch them. Now there's one. Let's see. As I say, they can see them. Whether they can catch them or not. There's one. That one's got one in its mouth, look. Let me 
He's munching it up. He's just going for another one. That's what absolutely sounds. There's a nice big wiggly one. And he's got that one, don't that one's got that one. Got it in his mouth. Okay, that's good, they're getting good at this. So that's, that was one that looks like it was going to pupate. But it's managed to catch it, which is fantastic. Now what will happen is the mosquito larvae will swim up to the surface to start collecting air again before long. So I'm going to just run my finger along the top. There we go, look. That's made them all go sink down into the water column, which is where the pea puffers are and then they just float back up to the surface. And there's one, and the pea puff has spotted it. Look at it. Oof. Maybe, maybe not. There we go, I've just knocked them off the top again. So they'll swim down, there we go, they're chasing them again. See them, you see, and then swim, 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 and then the mosquito larvae will stop moving and just float to the surface and it confuses them. Let's see if we can just get them to move again. Okay. There's loads of them there. And again, they'll sink down. Oh, that one's caught one. Is it in his mouth? In my polytunnel I've got a big pond, it's a big goldfish pond that needs cleaning out but before, it, uh, before I clean it out um, it's got water in so I'm using the water to water my plants that I've got in my polytunnel and um, yeah, that one's got one as well that stuffed in its mouth. So it's got lots of mosquitoes, lots of mosquitoes in the polytunnel and uh, they're laying eggs into the water and then it's producing mosquito larvae, so I'm going to have lots. I have been feeding the mosquito larvae to, um, to different fish in the polytunnel as well. And uh, so there's going to be quite a few for quite a while. And then once the big pond of water, well, it's like an old wheelie bin, once that's all used up, then I shall um, clean it out and refill it with fresh water to put my goldfish back in for my aquaponics system. But until that time, I've got a nice supply of mosquito larvae. Look at all these lovely little beasties to eat. Oh, there's one. Go on, get it. See, when the mosquito stops moving and floats back to the surface, they kind of lose interest a bit with them. I have to just keep on knocking the surface to get them to fall to the bottom. my fish eating mosquito larvae. Hopefully I'll probably tap them on the surface a few more times just to try and uh, make sure that they've eaten them all up because I don't really want mosquitoes emerging in the middle of the night and then flying around my flat and biting me. I can't think of anything worse. I'm not a massive fan of mosquitoes as it is. Okay, so there they go again. A few of them have sunk back down again. Hopefully they'll finish all these off and they have nice full tummies. I do like to give them um, a variety of different types of food, be it mosquito larvae or live blood worm or live briny shrimp. They've even had mice shrimp which are actually a salt water shrimp but um, they'll survive for a, a few minutes in water and the fish will soon find them and devour them which is nice. So there we go. Pea puffers versus mosquito live mosquito, mosquito larva, larvae. Will they eat them? Yeah, they'll eat them if they can catch them and if they 
continue to move as soon as they stop they seem to get a bit bored. There's one there just trying to get that one to go down. So I'm right down to the bottom there but stop moving and it's floating back up. Anyway, let's hope they all eat them all up. Hope you enjoy my little videos and if you are please like and subscribe to Ian's Field of Greens 2021. Nice one, cheers.